Hey, Fonshot, I'm here with... Yo, Draymond, at Dre Mizzy. Music. Yeah, so where you from? Sure. In the building, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 505, 505th, Southwest. We in here. So you from here? Like, you was born and raised yeah, here? Yeah, born and raised, man. Yeah? Born and raised, man. Mom's a military brat. Dad's from Chicago, so... Okay, okay. So <laughs> we're out here, like, the rest of the families from other places and unique places. And mom's, like I said, military brat, so... Frankfurt, Germany, all these other crazy places and whatnot. That was the main one for her here, and that's a special, uh, significant type thing. And I'll, I'll explain more later for it with the stuff we got. Right, right. So how'd you meet uh, the Jersey artist, uh, Fontaine? And Yo, shout out Podium Music, man. Fontaine is my guy. Yeah. We just and we we just won Song of the Year for the song Shifting. I got a couple tracks with him, but so shout out him. Shout out SCG. Shout out Fontaine. The people that were. I was over there in that network with them, you know what I mean? And I met him at a, a party. On the East Coast? Yeah. Okay. I was out there because I was traveling. So when COVID happened, um, everything was kind of shut down. Mm -hmm. And I was already having a debate with people from over here. Like, yo, if I just go over there or LA or somewhere and I move the way I move out here, it's going to be different results for everybody. And that was one of the places I met them at a, um, oh my God, I forgot the study. Uh, I was in Hoboken. And it was just kind of for that here, you know. So I, that's where I met him at. Mm -hmm. We connected. We met after that. Um, we talked a bit more. We did the business. I got some tracks from him. And Shifton was one of those ones. But that night, um, he was, for the party one night, he was playing beat, you know, playing beats and stuff here. Mm -hmm. And when Shifton came to it, I think he was showing another artist. And they were kind of just doing that thing here. So he, the Shifton beat came on, and I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> this is my moment. <laughs> so I started freestyling. Yeah. And kind of doing that. And they're like, oh, dang, what, this? <laughs> what is this? So we talked after that. Really great guy. You know what I mean? So shout out Fontaine. And we did um, at Playmaster Studio, is where we recorded back. It was like, it was back in the November. And that was a great session here. We banged out a few songs, and Shifton was one of them. Uh, shout out Playmaster Studios, Daniel Kapler. He was the engineer for that one. Yes. Uh, Mike C. Mastered it finalized the record for us, so shout out him. So because of that, we are all award winners for Song of the Year for the Mexico Hip Hop Awards here with the 2K editorial placement. So I was, I was yeah, the basketball game? That. Yeah. Oh, that's lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So how'd you um, get to the award show? Like, how did that come about? Um, well, I was nominated and, oh wow, you know, they usually have a process and some other things because they're getting it going again. Actually, uh, AV, this guy AV, he, He's with a one on one point through the hustle now here. He sent me a clip a couple of nights ago and it was like a when they tried it like in two thousand eleven. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I was I saw myself and I was like, Turn this off <laughs> What? <laughs> That's ten years ago. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and wasn't mentioned, wasn't nominated and was still had that feeling if I if I got the right people, if I get the right team, if I keep going, I know something can happen. And to be nominated now Cause I didn't, I didn't even impress them about it. To be honest, I was like, you know, if they recognize what we're doing, what we're doing here with a big placement and what I've done prior to before, is like I hope they would. And before I knew it, it was kind of there, and we went down to Santa Fe. Me and my nice. brother, Dogmatic, uh, Young Lee was there. That part was there. Um, Sage Badweather was there. Don P was there. It was like people are super, super close to me. Some of the fam was there too, of course, and um, it was great. Yeah. How'd you get that confidence? Because people always say, like, I want to go to New York, I want to go to L.A. and make it. But you really did it. So, it's like, where'd you get that confidence Man, from? I, I guess the challenge. Because some of them, they make it seem like it's not a thing. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it's not there. Like, it's, oh, well, that's whatever, and kind of doing that. And I was like, no, because I, I, I'm a music lover. You know what I mean? I believe I'm a music lover at heart. And that's that's where it's at. Especially for hip-hop. Mm -hmm. Especially. Come on, especially for hip hop here, there's yeah. no way you can be somewhat successful in hip hop and not have to go over there at one point or the other. You know what I mean? Right. Atlanta's seen and it's doing this thing. We know what Atlanta's popping here, but that's the mecca. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You end up there somehow, yeah. one way or the other. So it was kind of just that in my mind, and I was like, I took that as a challenge because I remember one dude. I ain't gonna say his name, but he was just as like, you, you ain't gonna make it. You ain't gonna make it there. You're not gonna get nothing there. Yeah. Tell you what, you get the one way here, and I'll get I'll get the one way back when you come. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I didn't come back for a minute. So. <laughs> <laughs> you did that. Yeah, I still want my one way though because I need them points. But <laughs> right. <laughs> so, where do you draw your inspiration from? Oh man, as 
far as like music or just just life in general like is you know um well family for one you know what i mean like the things that we we've, we've been through grow from learn from and stuff here as far as family you know what i mean moms brothers dad even um that was kind of the start of it that was like the root of like music you know what i mean because mm -hmm. you know our parents our grandparents what they listen to what they grew up on the way hip-hop was made off of so it's always a huge substance of it so i was always inspired by that but not just that i guess greatness in general like mm -hmm. who you liked in basketball or football or an actor or somebody successful you know what i mean mm -hmm. you know somebody doing their thing and kind of getting it in one way or the other so it's really just people you know i guess it's just people but yeah family and people that's where the inspiration starts with do you have like a management are you signed or anything um i'm not signed currently but i do have a great network but by the way shout out arrows independent studio this is where we're doing the interview at now shout out sage bad weather uh kurt with name and 101.3 they're actually supporting the record shifting uh, the music at LC, um, previous one I was working with before was Slaughter Entertainment or SCG. I was okay. working with them at, at the time for other ones there. Um, <clears throat> Izzy Sanchez. I mean, let's kind of go on here. So I don't, I'm not signed, but we have enough tools and hands for what we're doing to kind of uh, make happen what's happening. No, oh, that's peace. That's peace. So how's it being an artist here, like coming out of here and then and going over there and still mingling? Like, it was great. It was there's a lot of people when they heard uh, New Mexico, or all they heard was Mexico. <laughs> like, right. What? Like with some barrels and donkeys? <laughs> <laughs> you got donkeys out there. That's how they be. But no. But um, it was a I wouldn't say it was a culture shock, but it was like every it was more than everything I thought it would be, and I thought super highly of it, mm -hmm. like super highly of it. It's Mecca, but being out there. Right. Y'all do everything faster. Right, right. Drive faster, <laughs> walk faster. It's, all, it's, it's like everybody's on something. So just being out there, that was like a huge like build of motivation. Like, you know what? I could see why they say this is the the city of dreams. Did you bring anything that you learned over there in mm -hmm. here? Like Always. Everything I do now. Mm -hmm. Everything I do because it's on, not, not, not that it's on point, but it's ahead over there. You know what I mean? Like, we're... You know, top 40 type city with everything, you know what I mean? We eventually right. kind of feed off it, unless it's that big. If it's something super huge where it hit the whole world at once, of course, but it was, man, I was like, you know what, with how they move and how I had to move out there in these other places, yeah, I was like, I'm going to do it here. Yeah. And I can be a lot smarter about it too, so even when it looks like I'm not moving, I know where it counts at. Because you're not from there, so you don't got to be all <clears throat> grimy and stuff. You can yeah. yourself. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just for that end. Yeah. Man, that was. I think about it the whole time and all the time. You know what I mean? Like, it's it was unforgettable. And I plan on going back there after Germany. Like, I plan on that's my next uh, area for press run, if you will. You know what I mean? Nice. Just to get back out there. I was just talking with Fontaine about that like a couple of days ago. Like, man, I can't wait to come back. Yeah, yeah. So, what about um, like traveling and tour? I know you <laughs> mentioned um, Frankfurt. How, what else? Um, have you been in? Man, um, so we're getting ready to head to Frankfurt, Germany mm -hmm. into February. I have a single produced by DJ Sherry. He's, he's, that's his, that's his line. He's big over there. Yeah, I mean, big, big. He's worked with crazy artists. Missy Elliott, Petey Pablo, um, Buster Rhymes, mm -hmm. so on and so forth here. Shout out Rod Dollar. He's a and r -ing. That situation. He's actually a and r a, a few big records for me that I have coming. So that's kind of the significance from having shifting into what I was working on right now, kind of a little bit prior before. So got a record with Bangladesh. Nice. We're about to do. It. I'm excited about that one here. Really interesting producer cat. Really original. Yeah. <laughs> really original here. Uh, major 88 keys. Nice. And then of course with DJ Sherry, and that's kind of what we're working off out of that situation. Um, yeah, it's dropping February 29th. Mm. Uh, the record's called Miss You. It's going to be a twist from what I've been dropping and what I've been doing here, but I'm excited about it. I'm yeah. excited for everybody to hear. So we're getting ready to go hit it over there. Over there, Amsterdam, we're finna, we're finna get it in. How long are you <laughs> going to be over there? 
I can't even give a specific date because last time I said that, I said that when before I went to the East Coast. Like, yeah. Oh, that'll be a week. Right. Some days. So a month later, <laughs> a month later, <laughs> I ride them back yeah. for that time being. So, uh, I mean, we're going out there for the week in the time being. Mm. After that, we're hitting the uh, tri-state area, if you will, you know what I mean? Right. And really getting it in. And then, of course, another one for here because home is always home and I represent it. And there's people here who are going hard for me, which is a change because you don't really see that too much for uh, up and coming artists from here. Right. That was kind of the theme I was on before, but the, a lot of the people who I mentioned here and now here, there are ones that are doing that every day. And you know what I mean? So shout out to them. Nice, nice. Oh, let's talk about your hustle. You got any side hustles and like anything that you else got going on with Strictly Music? Um, from the point, uh, the point in time in between. I was doing film for a little bit, yeah. like New Mexico film, as far as some of the stuff they do here. I was juggling that back and forth. Like acting? Yeah, yeah. Acting and kind of getting into that whole scene. That was one of them. Um, <clears throat> as far as side hustles or work, I, I never had a problem with getting a side hustle or a job here, you know what I mean? To have extra to kind of support what I'm doing here. But as of now, I'm a full-time artist yeah. with the way that it's going here. And I'm excited about that to be able, that's to, that's no different from launching a business, you know what I mean? So. Mm -hmm. That's dope so to yeah. be a full-time artist. That's a lot of people's goals and things. And that's I, can, I can pay bills with it. Like right. <laughs> <laughs> so explain your writing price. Do you, do, you, do you write? Do you just spit? Or how do you do it? It's a mixture. Sometimes it's writing, sometimes it's spitting, but it also depends on kind of what you want to forge I um sometimes the, the writing comes quickly sometimes it takes a little bit a couple of weeks maybe a month or so and those are some of the best ones too and some of the best ones come quickly and then with the other ones the spitting when it comes natural and the energy in the moment of freestyle those ones too so I, I just kind of use everything nice nice you got any uh struggles that you want to talk about that you overcame or that you Struggles that I overcame, I mean, we all got them in certain sense, right? Whether, whether it's big or small. Um, one struggle, I know this might be a different one here, but I guess adapting to the level that I'm at. Okay. And um, I guess valuing myself as much as I should. And not saying that I don't value myself, mm -hmm. but to know that when you, you get to a certain level, and not just with career, but in life, you know what I mean? There's certain things that shouldn't be affordable. Okay. For you know what I mean, there's certain things that shouldn't be able to afford it. Let's put it like that, and to know your quality over quantity, and because you want to kind kind of keep doing the same thing and do it out of here, but the world is always changing, so you have to be adaptive in that sense. Whether that's going at the speed of that or sitting still. So I think yeah, like the realizing your value, and I realize it now, and I'm happy about it. But that was a challenge. Yeah. Um, so what about uh, what do you think about social media? <clears throat> it's a double-edged sword. It's it's like it cuts one way, then it cuts the other. There's a lot of stuff to where social media makes it okay, <laughs> and then a lot, a lot of stuff to where it's like the value in things. It kind of depreciates it a little bit because it's easy and it's accessible and it's, it's there for everybody. But at the same time, if you're putting something out, that's kind of the best route, right? Like, like kind of goes for that here, and it it's like a thing of its own. It's <laughs> it's its own world. Do you put your your personal life on there, or just mainly music? Nah, no personal life on there here. I mean, maybe, maybe thoughts, mm -hmm. who I am, because I don't hide who I am, right? But it's just at the same time of year, like. Our at home lives are at home lives, you know what I mean? And the internet world is not really something that can decipher the two. Right. You know, they just, they feel uh, entitled to an opinion. And everybody is to a certain extent, but they, it thinks it's entitled to an opinion without consequence. Mm -hmm. You know? Like if I said something crazy to you, <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Yeah. But the difference is, is whether it's behind a computer screen or a phone, or if it's in person, but it's still said and right. it's something that they can. Screenshot it. And it like, trickle yeah. over to yeah. social media. Yeah, it makes it go because it's, mm -hmm. it's real overboard in some areas there. But you know, like it, it, it's, it connects the world. Right. So those are things that have always been there. So it's just, you gotta decipher the two. Mm -hmm. You got any features that you would like to do? 
features that I would like to like, do. Like mainstream, or even like local New Mexico artists, or East Coast artists? Um, I would do a track with Defy. He's a he's very big up and coming. Well, I'm going to say up and coming. He's already doing his thing here. I would do something with him. That's for New Mexico. Um, outside of New Mexico, Brent Fires. I've been following him for like a hot minute before what it was now here for R&B and some of the sound and stuff that he has here. So I would definitely do something with that. Um, man, I don't know. That's, that's, <laughs> that's a really that's a really broad question. Yeah. Like who would as far as we're in there? But that's just to name a few. Because you know, like uh, some people, they do a feature and then that'd be like to help them. You know, but you yeah, got your own movement going on right now. Yeah, so. yeah. So I mean, hopefully we'll we'll get a big feature from somebody that it's a good collab with and that I enjoy their music and hopefully vice versa, right? Yeah. But um, yeah. Yeah. Tell well, some uh, tell the people about something about New Mexico they may not know. Something about New Mexico they may not know. It is in the United States. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> Fun fact. It's, it's not Mexico. It's New Mexico. It is part of the United States. No, because I got that a lot when I was over there. They're like, Mexico? Like, yeah. I didn't know there was black people in Mexico. It right. just was like, nah, man. But um, they put green chili on everything. I'll leave yeah. that. Yeah. yeah just, exactly. I know. <laughs> you know I mean? You've gotten to see a taste of it. Yeah. They put it on everything. That's just the start. <laughs> do you have a, um, a stylist or do you... You do stress dress yourself. I guess it depends on the day. Okay. <laughs> I guess it depends on the day. Yeah. And I wouldn't even say a stylist, but people who has more of the thing here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, real quick fact with Bangladesh, I was shooting some pieces for the the video that I have with the song I have coming with him here. He was kind of a stylist for that here. Yeah. As far as an idea. He wanted you to dress in certain Yeah, way. like and not even just that, but you know, you gotta you gotta open it up. You gotta get. Yeah. You gotta now you look good. You definitely look like an artist. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. That's through all of those trials and tribulations from that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fresh here. My brother too. He's he's real on it here. Dogmatic. He's definitely um on it for here. Like yeah, he, he was just out there now. Like, oh, do you, do you need something different? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're good. We're good. Yeah. Who are you taking with you when you go overseas? Um, I got some of the team. I'm kind of seeing who's willing to take that 17 hour flight right <laughs> but um Rob's gonna be there of course DJ Sherry but he's already there but just shout him out um Sage is going I believe Miss Bridges is going a few other people a few other people who are willing to hold it down and work here but we'll, we'll, we'll see as it comes yeah nice nice and what's the date of that again that is so the record drops February 29th nice. so okay. we'll be out there for the week of that and that's my first time out of the country. Really? Yeah. Nice. It's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah. And they're talking about Amsterdam too. So they you know you was talking about that before too, but they're yeah. like, yo, we got it. It's right next to each yeah. other. He's so. always he's always right there. He's yeah. like it's like how y'all hop over to Las Vegas and like that here was yeah. it's an international thing, so it's a thing, you know what I mean? So right. I can't wait. It's gonna be my first time out of the country and I get to experience all that I hear while doing music. Do so. you speak different languages? No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, but I'm going to yeah. What's your uh, relationship status? What's my relationship status? Mm -hmm. Person. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's really it. We covered it. Shifting. Great results here. Uh, place nominated and won an award for it. Got a record with DJ Sherry coming. Um, I have a record with Bangladesh coming. Um, Man, I got a great team, with a great support system. I'm in, I'm enjoying it. I'm still kind of on the high of that awards. You right. know, I'm already at working at the next one here. Um, I've been recording some dope music at Arrow's Independent Studio and whatnot. Um, working on some more stuff with Fontaine. I'm just, I'm keeping it going. You know what I mean? I'm just kind of keeping it going and where we at and keeping those focus points. So that's really just what I'm excited about about what's next in general. Right. You got any music videos you want people to watch for? Oh man, as far as music videos, I have I have some of the best music videos yeah. that you will see in New Mexico, I promise you. Uh, <laughs> shout out Duck, shout out Omar Nader, uh, Gravity, Say Less, What I Did. Um, you know what, shout out Rome, my favorite rapper too. I got some stuff with him as well. Wax, Vibe, um, Lucas, we did talk talk my ish the freestyle video for it. So I, I got some really good collectors for it. And Gravity is a really good video. So mm -hmm. Gravity and Say Less here. We got short films. We got 
great editing, great works, real cinematic with it. So um, y'all go check those out. Those are on YouTube and Vivo now. Yeah. How do you uh, network with the people out here, like the, the diversity, like the blacks, the, the Mexicans, the natives? Like well, I talk, I talk with everybody. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't really, even though they might draw the line with me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they might draw the line with me, but I, that's not where I draw the line. Where I draw the line at is if they're dope enough and if they're serious about it. You know, if they're, if they're dope enough and if they're serious about it. And I kind of go off of that. It's just the same thing, like, who wants to show up for the job? Who wants to show up to work? Who wants to show up to get money? Who wants to show up to be great? Who wants to, uh, I, you know, because I always, I play it sometimes here, but it was like that Kobe Bryant interview. And the, the piece of it was, it's like, how would you pick a teammate? to play with and he's like well if you're not in the gym for one there's nothing really to talk about you know what I mean I don't want to talk about you going to the gym and he went off in that type of jazz but yeah somebody who's already doing it and they're serious about what they're doing you know what I mean and you kind of go off of that like are you recording are you doing music where you're at some there's some potential that needs to be worked with and to be sharpened but other than that that's what I go off of like who's serious and talented a lot of talented people but who's serious yeah how long are your studio sessions for? Like, do you get in, you listen first, or like, what's your process? Um, I might come with something or some ideas. I might come prepared. It might be some of those flow ideas, the sound you want to capture, writing stuff. The sessions can go anywhere from two, three, four hours, but there's never no set time for it here. Some of them have been for five or eight, yes. kind of in studio block. When I was recording in Vegas and some OGs in the game like Capadonna from Wu Tango Corrupt, they were there. Nice. Keith Murray was there too. And those sessions were going for like 11 hours, like yeah. straight through, like straight. <laughs> and then days back to back, like 10 days here, uh, 10 hours here, and then another 10 or so after that, including the rest maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and then going back at it again. So I would say that's the longest session I've been in so far. Is, uh, 10, 11 hours. Well, that's good. You've been around some real players in the game, so you could, like, uh, look at their techniques, too, and yeah. the, um, motivate you. Yeah, yeah. Well, they got all kinds of techniques, and you can see them all at once. So, like I said, anything that I see and I learn for, I, like, ball it up, and I use it for sure. Yeah, nice. I use it for sure. Shout-out so, yeah, so. Shout Arrows Independent Studio. This is where we're doing the interview at now, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Again, shout-out Fontaine, shout-out Mike C., Shout out Rob, Bangladesh, DJ Sherry, Dogmatic, um, Sage, 1013, Kurt Name. Um, yeah, those are, those are people rocking with it for the team here. And as I say before here, if I forgot a name or two, I'm sorry here. I hope I mentioned it. We keep it going here. But yeah, and thank, like I said, thank you for interviewing me as well and taking the time. I'm really appreciative of it. I appreciate so, you letting me in here and everything. Of course, yeah. of course. Thank you for coming through. Yeah, definitely stay tuned here. Music. All right, it's J Flower Child, House of Harmony TV, out the trunk.